Good morning, you lovely lot. The well, <laughs> the, the well, the whirlwind that is Luke Pullen has arrived. Luke's in the bath, and um, within a relatively short amount of time, we are now living in chaos. So, <laughs> so you know, the beds are out, but you know. I guarantee this suitcase, which has got Luke's gear in, this won't change for the next eight or nine days. The beds probably won't get put away. This will be a common occurrence. There's like crash helmets. He'll probably try and sneak that onto test track, giving it large that, well, I actually am actually a racing driver, but you know, I'll take that all day long because we are now full team. Um, my beautiful wife is out living her best life. How are we? How bloody lovely is this? Breakfast on this balcony with this view in this temperature. It's amazing. Yeah, we've got some brown flakes on the firm, got some coffee on the go, got some golfers out there. It is perfect. So, the plan for today is we've got an exciting day today, actually. Um, I've come to the realisation that I kind of prefer not to be on the parks between around 11am to 4pm. It's a little bit much for me. We are, we've been really lucky enough to come for slightly longer this time and again lucky enough that we have done this a lot. Um, so we don't need to, you know, if you, I totally appreciate that. This is like a massive once in a life holiday, you know, for, for many people and people kind of want to cram it all in which I totally get <clears throat> however um, we'll, as I said we're lucky enough to have done this a fair bit so we don't have to cram it in so the plan for today is um, it's just about half past nine kids getting scrubbed so I think we're going to head over to Disney Springs have a nice chilled morning I've recently discovered um, pumpkin spice lattes, <laughs> they're well nice. So we're gonna have a mix around there, spot of lunch, and then um, heading over to Magic Kingdom. And we've got a really interesting t um, night tonight because um, as part of like DBC members, you get, what's it called? Top of the World Lounge at Bay Lake Tower. Top of the World Lounge. Yeah, but since COVID they've kind of done a bit of a rebrand on it, um, and it's now called Villain's Lair and you can do a special DVC only event there if you pre-book, you do pay for it, but it does include um, an appetizer, a cocktail, and a dessert, which I think is a seven day cake. And you get to watch the fireworks from the balcony on that lounge. So we're gonna do that tonight. It's called Wicked Wine Down. Um, and we had to pre-book it, but yeah, we're looking forward to that. Cause it'd be really, really nice to see Bay Lake Town, so obviously we've not been really there before. It'd be nice to see, we haven't seen this new fireworks for the 50th, so it'd be interesting to see it from the balcony. I think we'll probably want to see it from Main Street as well, just to get the full effect at some yeah. point. But it'll be nice to see it in the experience, with the experience that we're doing tonight. It is 20 to 11. How's it feel to be back on Old Key West? Good, am I still a nice shade of red? <laughs> Luke had a bit of a reaction this morning, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put some face moisturiser upon my face as instructed by the, uh, the instructions on it. And I, it, my face went all red and very hot and not happy, so my neck's a little bit upset. I don't know if I'm still slightly red. Look all right. Thanks, man. Um, what was your original question? How's it feel to be back on Old Key West? It feels good. It's nice today as well, because it feels, I was so tired yesterday that as great as it was, there was so much going on at once, my brain just couldn't process it. <laughs> and now I'm like, I'm here and I'm awake. And Time to chill now. Time to chill, old Key West, baby. And we're going to Disney Sprongs. Disney Sprongulongs, I'm so excited. First stop, hospitality house. Right, so this is Olivia's restaurant. We will definitely be eating here at some point. Amazing fried chicken dinner, but all the flowers, all the foliage around here. This is awesome. Right, Luke has had a reaction, so we're gonna go and try and find some antihistamine for him. What are you buying, wife? <laughs> for one moment I thought, that's not my wife. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's too bad on a tree. Nah. Nah. No. I do like his ears though. I do like the ears. I like the backpack as well. Oh, I love it in here. 
We hadn't planned on Tracy buying like a mega expensive handbag this trip, but I'm getting a bit worried. Oh, that is very nice. <laughs> That's nice isn't it? Yeah. I've no reason to use it. No, don't get it then. <laughs> How much is it? Don't, don't get it then. <laughs> I'm not even considering it as a purchase. I'm just like, it's very nice. That is a very nice it's bag. It's a very nice bag, especially if you get this one. Yeah, yeah, what's the nice discount on it? So right, do someone's doing a number on us. It's purse, <laughs> it's bags. Think about this. <laughs> we want to bring it. Do you have any bags? <laughs> no, we're not having any more bags. <laughs> <laughs> it's like $300 a bag at the moment. What about for my son? Can you get him a bag? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lovely bag. <laughs> right, so we've just been told not to field the children for a couple of days. Don't, don't field us. <laughs> don't feed them. Then she can get the bag. Can get the bag. <laughs> right, we better go. <laughs> what I like about that print is that it actually doesn't look too Disney. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, you know, kind of thing. It's a nice bag. She was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right, it feels like balance has been restored to the universe. Look, them two, us two. I'm gonna get on board, go for a little sail down the Mississippi all the way to this Miss <laughs> I've got a new boat friend, he's been telling me, uh, oh, I'm gonna get a job as a boat driver. Yeah, they're recruiting at the moment. Right, looks like we got the best boat skipper ever. ever. We're having some Disney trivia on the way up with Michael. Hi ho, hi ho. We're off to Disney Springs, we go. We're gonna eat some food and do some shopping. Hi ho. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Hi ho. <laughs> First appeared in what video short? Steamboat Willie. Yeah. This place so special. The how amazing was <laughs> how amazing was that? That was awesome. How amazing was Michael? I love Michael. That that is why we love this place. Oh, oh, it's just so funny. He was perfect. Um, on the app, well, you used to be able to do cast compliments. You still can do. It's where if you do receive like unbelievable service like that experience. On the app you can do a cast compliment, so Michael's going to be getting some of them. That was just, what a wonderful way to start the day. Nice moves, man. Okay. So as you come into Disney Springs, one of the first shops is like this tea and spice shop. They got some really, like really cool cookware stuff. So like pestle and mortar, and this is like super heavy. They've got all teas and spices. We've got I'm salt. Lick the block. Don't lick the block. And how cool is this kettle? I love this. So they've got like spice rubs, different types of sugars. So if you are, you know, thinking of getting someone like a present off your trip that you, you know, can't think what to get them and they're into all this sort of stuff. Come in here. What's that? It smells, I mean, it just smells like salt, but it's go-to jam. Have you done it? Yeah. Is that like a Thai thing? Can I uh, smell it? 
Well, it's got gochugaru chili flakes in it, and it's Asian. I don't know if it's Thai. But I think it's Korean. Yeah, Korean. Korean. Oh, nice. Wait, we don't want your salt in here. Get out. Hello. I stay up too late. <laughs> That's what people say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> right, this one's on a surfboard. Right. Daisy, grab two. Are they? Grab two. I've only got one hand of it. Right, on the count of three. Three, two, one. No, that was rubbish. <laughs> edit that out, Mum. Edit that out. Yes, rubbish, actually. Right, what Luke's trying to do is bounce this so it hits me in my private parts, aren't you? Because you've just done it to yourself <laughs> and now you want it to hurt other people. No, Luke. A wobble bob bob. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna get some whiffer squishers. <laughs> Look, would you like a whiffer squisher? I would want nothing more than a whiffer squisher. <laughs> you squish it? Yes. Oh, it's what you haven't seen. What? <laughs> <laughs> Up like that. So when we came, a couple, the last time we came here there was a whole basket of these, I mean there must have been 50 in the basket and Luke went up and pushed the whole thing down. No, you did it. Did I do it? Yeah, yeah, I think it's something you did. Good job, Kipo. And so when you squeeze them there's nothing, but as you let go... <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so basically it was like 50 of those going off at the same time. Are you playing your ukulele? Ukulele. Yeah, that's really good, man. Just uh, feeling the vibe. Miss Daisy, we get us play it. She can't play it. She can play it. Crying stars. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only taken like a day for him to be here. So my new, you know, bag. It's got one of these clips on it. It literally. I'm walking down the stairs at Ron John. Captain Silly Pants has unclipped it. It's not going to be the last time that happens. Well done, happy with yourself? It's pretty good, man. Yeah, <laughs> right, another glorious day at Disney Springs. Beautiful here. Yep, it's coming up to 12.30. It does feel pretty quiet here today, which is nice. And we're going to go and head to Deluxe Burger for an early lunch. Going to have quite a bigger lunch today because the food tonight, we're not expecting like a big old sit down. I think it's like small plate. And yeah, I think they're appetizers. They're kind of like the stuff I would say if you order something from um, when we were at the hangar bar, that kind of like the big pretzel thing or a bit of flatbread. They're, they're kind of appetizers, but they're substantial appetizers. And there's a purge, but it's not a meal. Yeah. But we're treating it as a meal. Yeah. And I think, it, I think we'll be pleasantly surprised. I think there will be enough, but just in case, we're going to have a bigger lunch just in case we get a bit hungry. So it's quite late, so it's half eight. So yeah. this has got to see us through. Yeah, we've not been here for a long time. I think we've only ever been here once as well. Oh. Right, heading in. We are sat out on the porch at Deluxe Burger. What a, just a brilliant place to be sat having lunch. We have got four burgers of different. Daisy's got a plant one, Tracy and I got regular cheeseburgers. Luke's got some barbecue blue, stop doing that face. We got one large fries for all of us. We've got two fountain drinks, which we're sharing and all of these dips from like the little pumpy things. And that came to 69.26. Right, we've ditched the girls, they're doing a bit of shopping. We're flying, we've gone rogue. We've gone rogue, we've gone off the rails. We have. And all the vibes, splits feels pumping, live music. Live music on a Thursday lunchtime. Don't mind if I definitely do. Right, we're gonna have a mooch bout. Now I think we might go for a drink. Right. Heading into the hangar bar. We like it in here, don't we? You got your ID with you? I do, I bought my passport. <laughs> Good lad. Right, this feels a bit like a remake of uh, Hitchcock's The Birds. <laughs> Alright, what have you gone for? A cool headed monkey, my friends. It's gonna be really, really tasty. That's Luke's thing. Not, what's in it? Can you remember? Like yeah. rum. Got some, uh, got some rum. 
and a tangerine liqueur, and that's interesting. I've never no, seen the film Bullet Train. There's a character in it called Tangerine. Luke's been boring on about this film. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. My next one's going to have a lemon in it. He gets it. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I've got a soda in line. I said that is another so character. More Bullet Train. Lemon. Yeah. There's not one called Lime, though. Uh, so that's, that's See ya. All right, girls have joined us. Had a couple more drinks. Hangar bar's great as always. And if you want, you can have a drink on a boat. Right, so they normally have like the amphibious cars here, or the amphi car here, but I've never seen this bad boy before. All hell Hydra. This is the boathouse. Quite pricey in there, but the food's really good. Some of the best steaks we've had on holiday in there. So this is Paddlefish. Used to be Fulton's Crab House. Um, we've eaten there a few times when it was Fulton's Crab House, and we've also eaten there when it was Paddlefish. It was quite expensive, and I thought it was pretty well, average. I liked it last time. Oh, Did you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you off your head, son? It's absolutely thought, delightful in there. I thought it was average. And then, then we've got T-Rex up here, which if you've got kids, they're into dinosaurs, obviously. They're gonna love it. Wait, what did you call it? T-Rex. It's not called T-Rex. What's it called? Trex. It's not called T-Rex. <laughs> got the world's greatest boat driver, Michael, again. What up, kids? Good to see you. Welcome back. That's my peeps. Good to see you. Good to see you. Right, it is. Quarter to six, heading into Magic Kingdom. Hey guys, welcome to Magic Kingdom, the world's most magical place. And uh, yeah, we're just really, really excited to get the three points this evening, so we'll see what we can do and yeah, have a meal, ride some rides, and just uh, be here for the vibes. Oh, Dr. Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going on first? I don't know. Never suspected. It's my choice. It's Luke's choice. It's my choice. Come on, him. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like, I like the people move. <laughs> right, Daisy's checked out the app. I think. We're going to head over to Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is Luke. This is your first time at Magic Kingdom this holiday. First time at Magic Kingdom in like four years. How's it feel? Magic. Does it feel magic? It feels magical. I can feel it coursing through my veins. Um, I'm just yeah, genuinely very happy to be here. Happy to be with you guys as well. Mwah. So we're in the sweet shop on Main Street. They've got all the M&M's. All the festive decorations have come out for the shops now. Ooh. <laughs> How cool is that? That is a very good animatronic. Yeah. yeah, like that makes the one at the end of Avatar at flat of uh, Navi River looks. The only thing that comes close is the unicorn at the end of Hagrid's. <laughs> That's amazing. I love this. This is amazing. I had no idea this was in here. Oh, it's nice and warm as well. This is like something out of Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, but look at this sparkly old castle. I'm not actually sure this. Oh, this is for sale for a quarter of a million dollars. How much? How much? If you get within, if you hold on, if you get within 10%, you can get that DVC back. <laughs> I think that's gonna be. Think carefully, this is a real offer. I think I'll do that. It's going to be in the thousands. I think that is going to be 20,000. Okay, yeah. 
Well, first of all, if you want to get that bag, it sounds cheap. It's not like, yeah, uh, it's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is shiny. It is shiny, to be fair. <laughs> It's all going down in here. This guy's engraving glassware. I had no idea this was here. It's really, really cool. And it's like, right kind of opposite the Emporium on Main Street. Oh, and now there's a parade. This is a good day. It's also like a really nice time of the evening to be here, so it's 10 past 6, it's nice and chilled, not too hot, it's lovely. Yeah, there's that nice comforting like evening warmth that you don't normally get in the evening, you know, there's no wind really. It's just uh, a few bubbles in the air and uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic It's perfect. Day. It's really good. I love this bit. Yeah. Like, this is like the kind of adventure pirate bit. I don't know. It's, 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 Daisy, what happens to Jungle Cruise at Christmas? It's time for the Jingle Cruise, We've, which I've never done. I've never done it either. No, so I'm excited. Me too. I don't know if we'll get on it today. There's, uh, there's lots of animals on it with claws. Santa Claus. Daisy. Yeah. Right, ready for pirates? My darling boy, I'm ready to go on a pirate ship and be a pirate with the boys. <laughs> Enjoy that. Oh, nice time on pirates. How was pirates? It was really good. I got to the end, but you know, it was fine at the end. You know, yeah, no, I really liked it. It was fun. Good. Right, we've decided. The team have spoken. What are we going to do? People mover. We're going to do the people mover. People mover. We're doing the people mover. We're doing the people mover. Shall we do the people mover? People mover. Right. So there's the jingle cruise. All set with his Christmas lights. That's cool. Right, so it's coming up for seven o'clock. The fireworks start about quarter past eight, but people are already taking up their like preferred spots. But all the lights are on. It's a really nice time of the evening. What a view! Amazing. Yeah. I love like the uh, sort of the green and the pink neons under Astro Orbiter. Looks amazing. So the blue bits over there are is Tron and wasn't expecting that to be lit up at night. Yeah, it looks great. There's really nothing like today. Really? Oh wow, this could be exciting. Oh how good does that look down there? Right, let's see if we can see anything going around. Yes, look! Oh wow! That's going to be amazing. Please go around again. Go around again. Go around again. Go on. Do it. Yes. It's longer than I remembered. Like I know we went out the other day, but that, I don't remember it used to be that long. Yeah, it's just such a nice chill and you get to see a bit of the park. I can sit on it like all day. It has like the almost very different to saw it, but in the same way I can just sit yeah. on this and just vibe. Yeah. I love it. It does feel really Christmassy here now. No, no November 4th, are we? Right, so our experience this evening over at the Contemporary, uh, we can get there on the monorail, so we're going to hop on it here. So this is the Contemporary. Look, would you want to stay here? No. Nah. No. Not my vibe, personally. I think if we were going to stay here, it's definitely somewhere just for like a few nights, I think. Oh, this is nice. Right, so we were all checked in. Allow a little bit of extra time 
to come here because it's not as straightforward. You have to check in and kind of. You don't know where you're going like we did. It takes a while to work out where you need to be. Yes, but a very friendly lady helped us. So um, yeah, we're just waiting to go up in the lift. How's business? It's up and down. Hey. Right. Sleeper. Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh, Cheers. Nice. Cheers. Thanks. Right. So when you check in, there's a whole separate lift to take you up to the end of the world lounge. Top of the, Top of the world lounge. <laughs> uh, it's kind of complicated. I would have struggled with that without help from. Strangers. It could have been a whole thing. Like strangers helped us out. Anyway, we're on our way up to the 16th floor to the end. Top of the world lounge. And this is properly high up. Oh, nice lines. <laughs> Look at us, impressed by a door that opens. So this is like the villain's lair, looks nice. There's a whole area out to the left which is reserved for people doing this experience. Yeah, so this is top of the lounge, villain's lair, and top, top of the world, end of the world. So it's got um, cocktails, non-alcoholic cocktails, wines, and like small plates. Right, so this is the viewing deck just for the wicked wind down where we are. And not a bad view days. A bit emotional down there. Daisy's got some plant basics. <laughs> Luke's got a charcuterie board. <laughs> Had a bit of a moment. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, we got uh, flatbreads and some sliders. It's nice in here. Right, we've all got the same big bit of cake. Seven layer cake. Seven layer cake. <laughs> Thank you. How good your cake, mate? So, a lot of flavours going on here. You get the umami, the mushroom sorbet. You get the, the acidic nature of the raspberry roux. You have to get a little nuttiness from the uh, the coconut puree laid on the outside. Crazy. How's the cake? Very nice. It's good, isn't it? Tracy cake. Really nice. Right, yeah, so we're walking through the contemporary. I'm not sure I'd want to stay here. 
Yeah, mum does like it. I would like to see it because I really like the incredible steam rooms. I'd like one to do a night just to experience that. <laughs> it's a bit, it feels like you'd be staying in a hotel. Yeah, like an airport. Yeah. yeah. But I understand why people like it. I like the location. I said to mum it feels like a service station. Yeah. Like a really nice one. It does feel like a service station. Yeah, a good one. It feels like airporty for me. Yeah. But would you want to stay here? Not personally, but if mum worked then I worked. I know <laughs> So yeah, so these are like I'm assuming these are these hotel rooms up here. I think you're just kind of looking over a service stationy, it, but it's so it's so echoey and noisy. It's like half. I think it's just not us. I think that's it. No, because people do love it, and the rooms look amazing, and the location's spot on. Right, all back on the bus. Thing you should know about Disney buses on the way back from the parks at night time. First off, freezing. Yeah. And second of all, as they drive off, they turn the lights off, everyone has a little snooze, and then when you get to the bus stop, it's like being interrogated because the lights are super bright. It's just like, oh my, it's like, everyone looks like a little mole. Yeah, it's just like, <clears throat> it's just too much. I'm quite tired. It's a bit too much, we're a bit tired, but look, coming back to this beautiful view, that's a brilliant night. It's a lovely night. That was good up in that um, fancy loungy bit. Yeah, really good. The only downside is the fact that like, in order to get back, you then have to get a monorail through three other hotels and then you have to go get a bus from Magic Kingdom. Yeah. So I think like that's a bit annoying. But uh, where we had was great. The fireworks show was great as always. Yeah. It's good company. And, um, yeah, no, it's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah. Right, let's get back to the room. Right, we're all back in the room. That was a fantastic day and a really, really lovely evening. Daisy, what do you think of uh, Devil's Lair? I loved it. It's good, wasn't it? Stop, what's it called? What's what it called? Think? End of the World. No, Top of the World <laughs> Top of the World yeah. Lounge. That was really, really... Top of the World Lounge. Villain's Lair. Villain's Lair. So, um, yeah, it's a DVC lounge, so you have to be, or be with people that have got a DVC to go there. How much was it, Trace? It was $55 per person. Are you actually in that closet? <laughs> it felt like it was. Um, $55 per person plus tax, that came up to 60 something dollars per person. Okay, so it's 55 bucks per person. That included a... A cocktail, an appetizer, and the pud, which was huge. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the viewing, private viewing of, of the yeah. fireworks. Um, it's a really small space up there, so it's, you know it's not going to get crowded. They only let a certain amount of people in, so it's not hectic. But that was a really, really lovely experience. And then seeing the fireworks from that viewing platform with the sound of the fireworks pumped in, it was it was really, really good. We have got a busy day tomorrow. Are you ready, number one? No, I'm tired. You tired? <laughs> so it's an early start for us tomorrow because we're doing a um, big, massive day at. Uh, uh, Hollywood Studios. Um, yeah, we, we're not, we don't do big massive days and I think we've only got, tomorrow we've got a big massive day and then next week we've got another big massive day because I thought, you know, we try and keep it super chill. Anyway, thank you so much for following along with us. Stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, Cheers. is.